Talk to me about Bill Dundee. How is his relationship with Jamie? Uh, it's always been um, not like a father son almost. You know, it's, it's weird. Some some dads back in those days, all their all of them like their relationship with their children was different than anything I've ever seen. Uh, as far as like you see now, these uh, wrestlers that are on top and their families and football players and their these guys almost didn't want their families to be known about, you know, uh, yeah. for a number of reasons, you know, kayfabe being one of them and shit like that. But yeah, it was always uh, rocky between them two. And, uh, but then it was good. And that's, if you have a, I have a rocky relationship with Jamie. I mean, it's just, if you're with, if you're a friend of Jamie, you're going to have a rocky relationship with him. <laughs> that's just how so I can see why Bill uh, had problems with Jamie sometimes and vice versa. Bill pulled a knife on me. <laughs> At the beginning, Bill really, wanted to get the job. He, he really had told, you know, Jerry, no, don't hire them. They're too small. They're this, they're that. They smoke pot all the time. Blah, blah, blah. So it's like, uh, you know, the reason he pulled the knife, pulled this one a hundred times it was because uh, he was doing that. And then once we got over on his gimmick table, he's got a picture of, me and him and Jamie and the fans can buy that one for three dollars or buy one of his for two or one of ours for two, you know, the little ones we used to sell. And uh so he's why are the people gonna buy two separate ones when they buy one? And back then we didn't charge for an extra autograph, all that shit. So we were getting fucked. And I said, Jamie, man, come on, you gotta say something. That's ain't right. Because I'm signing a shitload of these things. Okay. If you wanna try to keep me from getting a job, get my picture off your table. <laughs> So long story short, as I said something to him about it, I tried to do it uh, politely outside of the dressing room. He was laid down, already dressed. It was at a spot show and he with his legs crossed, laying on the bench. And I said, Bill, I said, you want to come outside, man? Uh, I don't want to talk to you. You got something to say to me, mate? Just say it right here. I said, okay. So I said, I don't think this is fair, yada, yada, yada. Words were exchanged. He stood up, it got louder and then uh, like I got members, I said, well, what's up there? What the fuck's up? And he reached in his boot. I'll show you what's up. Like, <laughs> out of knife and Doug Gilbert and Randy Hills got in between it and they fired him. Uh, yeah. How was he to work with in the ring? Uh, after that, man, he, you know, he took the suspension basically and they came to me and said, we do an angle with him uh, over the incident. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> So we did, and we, we earned each other's respect in that angle, in that time in the ring every night. We're cool. Brian Christopher, what was your... Uh, <laughs> love your Brian. Like? Love Brian to death, man. I, I loved working with him, working against him, as well as being partners, which we had done. Uh, Brian had a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde side to him. Um, one minute he'll love you, and the next minute he's very cute. And but it, he had a great heart, man. Brian really did. Anybody that knows him really well just knows he was a good dude, man. He just shit got the best of him, man. That's it. that's just the sad story of it. I think I love him to death. Miss him. I miss Benel would call him up sometimes just over something funny. Not that we talked every day, but there was certain stuff where you know so and so would appreciate this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, I experienced the Mr. Hyde part most of the time when I was around Brian. He was, I mean, I'm, I, listen, I'm, I'm sure you're a straight shooter, so am I. He wasn't very nice to me anytime right. I was around him. That was my I, experience with Brian. I can see it. I absolutely can. I've seen him be a complete asshole. I mean, two people. I mean, he, he's, uh, I'm, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but he and I were alone uh, at someone's apartment one night and just, I saw a real, real dark side you know a real dark side so anyway rest in peace my brother 